his computer. There it is. There she goes. <laughs> Happy Sunday, fellas. Hello. Yeah, How we wild. doing today? How's everybody's this, Sunday? Good. This is episode 12. Do you believe it? Well, 12 wow. Times. 12 yeah, did, we did this a bunch of times. Uh, like actually, keep doing them. Well, why not, man? We got there's a lot to talk about. So as you can see, our special guest today is uh, the Fonz. <laughs> and uh, hey, hey, <laughs> and uh, today's topic is gonna be leather, uh, which is uh, you know, you really can't extract oil from leather, so it's more like a fantasy note concocted in a lab. But we'll get into thing. all that. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna start with our SOTD sense of the day, like we do every Sunday. And uh, this week, since Mark's all the way on the end, we'll start with Mark this week. So, Mark, what do we what do we What's rock up? today, sir? Well, I just wanted to add to what you're saying, leather not having a scent. But leather, I think, has scents added to it. I meant to do a little bit of research and completely failed in that task. So, <laughs> okay. So um, you're fired. Yep. But, but I mean, <laughs> definitely, uh, you know, I think – when we think about these scents, it's like, what does people want leather to smell like? And so I know we're getting into that in a moment, but just kind of circle back. Anyways, uh, for me today, I got the Givenchy line. We're going with mm. the EDT and the Boise. Go with a layer because I was headed out to <laughs> nice. the kids party. Nice. Sweet. The mm. original EDT or the EDT Intense? The uh, sorry, so the 2000, I think 16 EDT, so the yep. black one, black yep. bottle, nice dude, yeah. Okay. So that one's good, and I actually noticed that that EDT it has a real faint, like purple tinge to it. So if you've seen the Boise bottles, they're kind of dark, but they have like kind of that purplish tinge, yeah, that brownish mm-hmm. color, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it was that color that really struck me in making that pairing today, so worked out nice. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, no compliments, yeah. but you know, no one said I stunk either. So that's good. That's, that's good. That's always good. Hey, sometimes you know, sometimes people think it, they just don't say it. So yeah. you, you all right. So what about you, Mister Mister Hazy Fragrance? Oh, well, right now I got the Kenneth Cold Blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. This nice. is a this nice. is a great for summer citrus and uh, really good citrus. Mm-hmm. Not not it's different than other blue frags. So nice. It's a good one. Cheapy. And uh, earlier, I was wearing the Dolce and Gamora Light Blue Forever. And I did compare the um, Italian Love and Forever smell very similar. Yes. But then, as as for Italian Love dries down, mm-hmm. it's different. It's true. Yes. You were the right dry about down that. is different. Yeah. Different. They but are that grapefruit like note forever is real better. close. You like, I like forever, forever better? better? I would say personally. So, Forever is like an older parfum concentration where the, the, the Italian Love is like an EDT. So, mm. I would just, I would definitely see how like uh, Forever has a little bit more richness and stuff. Yeah. Like that. I like it. Just it feels more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It like feels more. like more complete, rounded and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, I think I've worn Forever once. I haven't worn this one, the, the Italian Love. Yeah. The opening's nice though. It smells pretty good. It, like it in does. the air it's, when you spray it, it smells good. It's grapefruit. Did you try that uh Cartier the low, the declaration low? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> when you get it when you get a chance, smell that one. That one has a good grapefruit note too. I will uh, yeah, so I funny, man. Why are you laughing, man? <laughs> Cartier. <laughs> Cartier, Cartier Cartier Cartier. Is that how we gotta say it? Cartier. Ferrari. Ferrari. <laughs> you guys are making fun of me, man. Oh, I'm man. bullying, bullying, man. I'm about to write a letter to somebody, man. This is crazy. All right. I want to know some more about this Italian <laughs> love line, letter. though. The Italian the, love? The, the, for, uh, yeah, like the light blue line. What is, what's oh. the theory between it? Is it like I'm on the Italian Isles, they I'm falling all... in love? They have all, I mean, li- all I different guess. flankers, like, like yeah. sun and then it's uh, It's all just yeah. names. Does it invoke yeah. any feelings? I mean, the light blue forever Grapefruit. felt like Grapefruit, this was yeah. like, we we're just going to be like the classic one. Yeah. So I thought that was a good, I thought the light blue forever was a good, like, grab for them in terms of the image because they had had some ah. other flankers before them that weren't so great. And people kind of just jived with the whole concept. <clears throat> I see what you mean, you know, and especially this one's called Forever, you know, like, oh, this, I think this is, I, but I've smelled the original, and then the girls the, one. The woman's one, this. too, are kind of <laughs> classics, yeah. yeah. I don't really know, I don't really know. I, this. Son, son's a good one, one. I can't um, tell you. 
Light blue that was sun. the other one that I feel like this one kind of was following in the shadow of too. It was like oh, intense. Sun was kind of like the oh, first, intense, yeah. first first flanker after the oh intense. I guess it really. That's true. There's one called like Rocket it up. Bowling. Yeah, I've never tried Sun. I've never, there's yeah. one um Love is Love or something like yeah. that that has like that yeah. gelato apple note or something like that man i don't think i've smelled that one but yeah i mean they come out with one every year it's kind of like the same idea like the calvin klein eternity summers where they come out with one every year and stuff like that so there's got to be a guy out there who's into grapefruit the way i'm into oud yeah well that's a lot of people do like that it's like the new top note like uh loma de all cologne has it but it's like the new top now, Blue to Chanel. Everything's got grapefruit. Right, right. You know, yeah, Tiger, sure. Bulgari, you know, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good, man. It smells good. It's the, yeah. it's the new wave. Little tar- cool. Oh, the Hermes, too. The new or oh, the new Hermes that uh <laughs> that old Givre that has uh that's supposed to have a nice grapefruit. I love the in Hermes. I think that Hermes. one's gonna be divisive, like the um H24, maybe. Maybe it'll toe a line. Maybe it'll do we'll a little see. bit better job. We'll see. I mean, yeah. from the reviews I saw, everybody says the same thing. It's fresh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, <clears throat> I have to get my nose on it right now for $137. Yeah, $137 for 100 mil. I'm right. like, because oh. then I'm going to have to much. charge a premium because, you know, at that price, you know. I can't charge fifteen yeah. bucks for a ton of milk. Yeah. So. But people want to try that one, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh let me see. For me today I wore the the Rochas uh <laughs> mustache or the toilet. Nineteen forty nine. It's a bold That's choice. Sad. Yeah, I went with it, you know. Well, yeah, I got rid of my mustache, but I wore mustache. <laughs> Mo's went um, and you see Mo's the... jumped to mine. It went for yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was <laughs> back. You yeah, there you go. Like... We're trading mustaches over here. Yeah, but I um I actually, I had a guy in a bottle. Lou hooked me up with a bottle of that for free. So you know, and then I was I like, remember oh. that. And then I, yeah. and then I, um, I, uh, let me see. Yeah, I, I was decanting it, and I smelled it, and I was like, oh, this smells pretty good. I was like, so let me, uh, let me give it a, let me give it a try today. So I wore that today, and it actually lasted longer than I remember. A lot of lavender in that one, and um, and that lemon note. They say like lemon yeah, heads up top, but it smells good. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And then I tonight, think that's a fair comparison too. Like that, the kind of the person who, yeah, the kind of person you like to stick the sour candies in your mouth and just yeah. endure that pain. You like yeah. this one? You like it? Yeah, it definitely like, has that feel. I, like it's really yeah. lemon. But I, I feel like yeah. once it once it dries down and it settles, like you do get like the lavender and all the other yeah. stuff kind of it starts kind to fade. Turns in. into like a traditional masculine, right? Barbershop, but you gotta get through. You gotta yeah. get through all that lemon in the top, and it's That's definitely right. mm-hmm. bad lemon. That's a long but tradition. I like it though. I think it smells good. To me, the way the lemon comes off is not like a lemon cleaner. It's, it's more like yeah. just lemons. It's so. the original Club de Nuit. Yeah. <laughs> and then I wore this one tonight. This is a Lessons Lensons de Ceruti. This is a right. this is a fresh leather fragrance. This has like bergamot, <laughs> nice. saffron leather uh cashmere i think it has vetiver so it's like from 2009 i think that's but a perfect saw... uh it's a perfect yeah. segue as well. yeah no and this is um supposedly like a nice um like entry level leather i think this is discontinued though but you can still find them like pretty cheap they're still out there so um i like the house and i and i and i don't know i saw that one on one of the sites for a decent price so when I looked it up, I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. And it, and it's pretty good. So mm-hmm. I, I decanted some, and then I actually was able to finally spray some on tonight. So Sweet. that's what I went with to, to go yeah. with the theme. I got a awesome. Cerruti on deck, man. I got to try that. Stuff. I, I got yeah, a couple nice. I got a couple on the way. I have one called Signature and one called, uh, I forgot the other one I got, but I ordered two of them to try them out. Because yeah. I like the Blanche. The Blanche is good, too. So Yeah. Yeah, that one was really good. I like I like it. It felt like I kind of had a metallic vibe, but it was a very like white fragrance. <clears throat> yeah. I yeah, like the, it. The yeah. color the color the color of the bottle's fitting for sure. Yeah. I got, right. I'm going to be spraying tonight for sure. All right. Oh, you, nice. Ooh, look at that picture. Uh, ooh, that's, body work. that's clean. <laughs> very nice. Oh yeah, I sent I sent you a bunch of those with the new um Yeah. With the pack. Yeah, so. thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. 
All right, so we're going to talk about leather today, leather. which happens to be one of, of Mr. Hazy Fragrance's favorite fragrant notes. It um, is. He is a fan of the leather. Um, so like we were mentioning, you know, leather obviously is more of an, like an accord or a feel than, than an actual note. It's something that I feel like it ties a lot of notes together. Sometimes sure it rounds them out. It smooths them out. Um, you know, like Mark was saying, it could come off some different ways. It could come off like suede and smooth or it could come yes. off like a little bit animalic, you yep. know, rugged. So, you know, just depending on how it's used. Um, but, I know, but I'm thinking like all these scents about leather are like they're all synthetic, right? They're all yeah, like they be. don't what you think leather smells like is not actually what leather smells like. It's just yeah. what the industry has told you leather mm -hmm. has smelled like. Well, look at sure. look at here. You got they, a, they a belt, like, a wallet. You know, you have yeah. different things: so a car, a car right. interior, yeah. shoes. Like it all comes off yeah. different ways. You know, foot a football, like and you know, these are all things. You know? Yeah, those smells are always linked to this experience. So it's mm -hmm. like, what is cooler, like the five hundred dollar leather jacket or, you know, the twenty dollar leather fragrance? Fragrance, mm -hmm. or the fourteen ninety nine Marshall <laughs> special leather wallet? You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, because you know, but you, when I you got. get those brand new wallets and you like open them, like you do get right. that. It's right. that nice. smell you get that right. leather smell. I love that. You know I've mean? always loved that smell. So it just it just segued right into fragrances, really. Yeah, yeah. I found a couple people, that worked. I was like, this is great. This is it. Yeah. When people talk about what what smells like money, I mean, money smells like leather because you put it in that wallet you just bought. You know, exactly. You That's why we so, got the dollar signs up here. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. always. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, man. It's always in the smells like money list, you know. There you go. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, each bring up a couple frags in our collection or that we know about um, that contain the, the note. Uh, maybe we hop on the fragrantica and uh, pull up what some of the people say <laughs> yeah. about Sweet. those fragrances what and to see if yeah. we're actually correct in the fact that it has leather, which yeah, I'm sure right? we probably <laughs> are. Sure and, uh, we'll and, and we're gonna and we're gonna rock and roll like that. Now we we also one of the things we mentioned was you know suede being a yes, type of leather, so too. it's a similar accord. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be the note of leather, yeah. suede or like cashmere type stuff. Like that's all kind of got in that, that stuff. in yeah. that pocket of of what a leather note would do to to a fragrance, you know. And again, like the veteran one is not going to necessarily be fragrances that smell like leather, but they have that note in there t tied into it to give you know that nuance or like that that yeah, feel exactly. With the leather, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, so, it's a, yeah. Le leather is just something in the frame. Right. So we'll start since we started with Mark on the center of the day. We'll start with Mark today on the leather right. episode. Yeah, well, we'll we roll got it out quick That's what she said. here. Uh, no, okay, we'll start here. <laughs> Whoa, we'll start here. I can't see it. Oh, uh, is that Yadagon? Yadagon, yeah. Nice. So starting off in kind of the classic men's Fougere line, but like. Ooh. When I think men's fougere start, let's see what getting... we got here. Yeah, well, let's check me on this because it may not be. I think it has a civet. I get so a what, lot off. What's of the, the name uh, of it? Yadagan, Y A T A G A. This one, Karan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't check this one. Musky on it. Let's see From 1978. Lord, that's a oof. It's not really listed as leather. Pine or they're in castorium. Yeah, so we have pine, galbanum. Gal gal now, galbanum is something that uh, is known to give a leathery feel, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I get it that. Mixes with I see yeah. it with a lot of leather fragrances. This looks like a good fragrance. I got to try this. The patchouli is coming really strong off the nozzle right now. I like oh, the man. castorium. I actually could go a little <laughs> scent blind. That to beaver this one, Yankee? No. That castorium? I mean, no. I don't know. <laughs> That's like Let's a leather, like castorium is used okay. to give the impression of leather. You know what I mean? That's what castorium yeah. is used for. It's a leathery kind of very sharp cool. leathery. You know, it's very dank and it ends. I mean, it, it's, it's definitely yeah. on my skin. It ends up like getting this like really dark kind of earthy background. And I don't know, for me, it's always smelled like if it wouldn't be a great, if it isn't 
a, technically a leather scent or a leather note, it would be a great one to experiment with. And so, like I said, the uh, the castorium. Like put this on with a leather jacket. The castorium yeah. is put. It, that's what it's made for. To put since from seventy eight, it makes sense. They were using that kind. That was what they used to give the leather give spell back feel. then. You know, like, okay. There's some sort of myrrh or incense something or something. It has in incense. This. Yeah, because yeah, I definitely get yeah. that, which I think I that's a note that I closely associate with leather. Just because I, when I've smelled people's leather jackets, I, I smell see. incense, I smell patchouli. So maybe that's yeah. where I'm getting more of this from. <laughs> well, you get and, the, and those notes are in here, right? So you're looking at, yeah. you know, um, here you go with the patchouli, and then you got the incense. So it, yeah, it, you know. so I'm starting this off rip roaring, not a lot of leather, but hey, okay, no, no, it definitely okay. is, it's, definitely is, dude. But again, yeah. it's that it's that vibe, it's that feel, you know. My yeah. this one says milder version of polo green, more wearable, not as loud, uh, piney. Uh, oak. I could do that. I could do that. I get all those comparisons to like the to that because it is a very classic old school but one that i was going to bring on i i don't know maybe jared will bring it on but we'll see my um, okay we'll see you know we'll see. it's just oh, yata gone named yeah. for a turkish town that's where the name comes from. oh okay cool, yeah cool. it was down there it was not yeah i didn't i learned that like 10 seconds ago when i was scrolling <laughs> down yeah <laughs> it's like how the hell did he know that hey, listen i could have pulled it off but it was down there so uh, all right, Mr. Hazy, you got one with, with, with oh, the leather. You know, we're gonna we're gonna like I said, if we're gonna start off easy, we're gonna go Ben's intense. I okay. mean, uh, if you, I I say about this. Okay. I like Le Parfum better, but I say about this. This is like I feel better, better I, about my like, first one because this one this doesn't like have the, leather in it for sure. This well, <laughs> it it has, but it, it does has have galbanum. Bottom. The galbanum, so this it, is where you're getting that feel. Yeah. It's got galbanum and it's got the 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 violet leaf, which gives a it gives across like a fresh. This is like a fresher version of uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah. Fahrenheit. Now and then, very um, very leather fragrance is Fahrenheit. So so this smells like a lighter version of it. But that now is the cedar locks. Is that like a like a resin too? That's like Ambroxan. An type? Oh, that's it Ambroxan. looks like Ambroxan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like All right. Yeah. yeah but I was the, no, no, but the violet leaf is one of these notes that I think is and often nutmeg. associated with a leather accord. It's right. the so, violet leaf and the nutmeg together that I think. Do well, and look, and you have patchouli in here too. So ever. those those kind of things give you that right. same like pyramid you've been it's looking at. It's creating an accord because you know with this fragrance that you're trying like they're trying to get across the leather smell. So you know all these things bring together an accord. It may not say leather outright, but. For sure, it's, I like it because it's got a freshness to it. With that, you know, the citrus, the violets, a little more powdery. It's good. Nice. It's a good, you know. It's it's like a, if you want to get into Fahrenheit, but you're not sure. I've like I like this one. I've worn this one. It's nice several times, and I think it not definitely. Bad. A nice well, and, find it. and Fahrenheit nice. definitely has a leather note. So oh, it's if you leather. find a leather note, this in smells there, leathery though. And it it's the like shape a... of a Fahrenheit hole too. That's the same thing. This smells like a car mind. interior, you know, nice, nice clean. All right. yeah, yeah, which is Mercedes makes sense. Exactly. That Mercedes makes sense. Get it? There you go. <laughs> Pun new, intended, dude. Our new T-shirt. Let's see. <laughs> okay, okay. Barbados. We're gonna wow. go, we're gonna, I mean, look, it's a leather. It's a leather. Barbatos. It's a leather. I you're doing this one. Look at that one. What do you have? Did you pick this one too? No. Oh, uh, okay. There's, but, this is definitely no, a leather. I thought you mentioned you were going to do this, but yeah, the leather jacket, the bottle is wearing so leather. Le okay. The bottle is wearing a leather jacket. I think this one has a lot of Russian Whoa, leather. Oh, leather, yeah. yeah. Aldehydes, you definitely get that. You get the orange shaft. Wow. You get a little resinous. There's the there's the old abandon. What is hyssop? Uh, it sounds like a Pokemon. It uh, looks like it, it might be. It might be. Yeah. <laughs> might yeah be. Actually, I've heard be. that before. Yeah. Yeah, hyssop. Uh, yeah, this one's definitely woody. You get the vanilla and the cocoa for sure. Ooh. Or cacao. Uh patchouli, <laughs> osmanthus. So it's definitely got a, quite a few florals in here. I'm surprised Same. there's no incense note i mean i know what that there's there resins and all of them tried this one. On one nine you never smelled this one this one's good i i, I mean dark rebels popular i actually like this one better like for my taste i i, I think i this don't one know if i've tried either better no oh, yeah. i was thinking about bringing on dark rebel but i mean i don't know if it's my favorite it's leather weed, fragrance huh? but it, of unlike it or not dark leathery it, fragrance yeah this was definitely dark 
definitely dark definitely challenging i think oh, like yeah, a lot of yeah. people will be like i've smelled it and it's i get to, it's absolutely yeah. not it was the first thing i yeah. thought was hell no you know smoky and, leather jacket definitely get that vibe from it like it smelled like you're something you were rock while you're smoking good. cigarettes wearing a leather jacket right <laughs> i get yeah, like and leather roll. incense and berry that's what i get to me I get like a berry up top that's just kind of like rounds out the leather and makes it into this like sweet, almost gourmandish type of smell. So it does have a lot of fruit, I think I want to say. Yeah, it has uh, the orange. No, not just orange, but it does have marjoram, which is an herb. So that's kind of, and the saffron, those are all kind of, you know, um, you know, you could use them in food and stuff like that. So and yeah, you, nice. get, you do have some with the balsam and the resin. Is- hard to understand what it smells like just looking at this it's a yeah. lot it's yeah. a lot to put together yeah yeah it's a dark scent but i also don't feel like it's like super heavy like i definitely feel like it's a little bit it's it's smooth it comes off smooth too i will say it's not like a harsh scent it's not like overly but i think you definitely gotta have like a like a flow about you to pull it off like because if you just right. wear it people are gonna be like what is that? Like you, you yeah, have to be, yeah, yeah, you have to yeah, be yeah. dressed apart to wear this one. But I think yes, it smells good. I, I like it. Unless you're doing it for yourself, definitely. Right, yeah. If you're just chilling and whatever and you throw some on, but definitely like if you're gonna go out and, and rock this one, you gotta be able to pull it off. So right um all right, Mr. Mark, what's what's your next one over there? Let's do this one. I saw this one down there and we're just I wanna pull Ooh. it back to leather. Oh yeah, I saw it. Oh. it reminds me of Yeah. Yeah. It's a heavy that's one, a man. It's one. not that bad, man. No, it's, it's very not. sweet. It's um, but it has that like to me. It just there like it has the the car interior. Like people don't know this is the 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 classic, the Bentley for men incense. Yeah, it's got um. It, it smells bay like leaf, like like Heavy, a glass of scotch pepper. clinking yeah. around like inside your all leather interior like mm-hmm. Bentley. that's what it really feels like like mm-hmm. with the sweetness what a cool too. thing to capture and who's the perfumer again i think it's uh, uh i want to see i'll see somebody uh, got uh, larson. Nat- Nat- girl. Larson. Yeah, Nat- okay. larson yeah she puts it together here mm-hmm. nice i can't smell most of these notes individually i just smell like, it's blended. It's blended very yeah. well. I will say that. I think it's, it's not think really that for me. Awesome too. It's yeah. not really for me, mm-hmm. just because it's very persistent. It's mm-hmm. yes. It'll last for like fucking seven days. So. And a yeah. lot of these leather notes, especially if you smell them like we do, like the frag people do, it's like you're like you're smelling like really intense bass notes that are might yeah. stick in your nose for another twenty minutes, you know. And it's a little bit. It's definitely challenging. This is probably the first challenging fragrance that people will try. That people are like, it smells good. I promise you. But it does smell good. But again, I think it's one of those things where you have to be rocking it in the right situation, uh, wearing the right attire. Like I, I don't yeah. feel like yeah. this is a white t-shirt and, and sneakers kind of fragrance. Like you got to be. I think you have to be a little bit dressed up to to wear this one. Yeah. But I like this one. I think this one's awesome too. I think that's a good pick. Definitely. That's All definitely right. a lot of friends. Mr. Hazy, what we got? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bang two out real quick because you're Ooh. not gonna find the notes. So you're not gonna find anything oh, except for pretty much my review. Okay, oh, Alhambra, should... Amber oh. Leather. Which his quickly. review is is on uh his review is on, on my, it, YouTube. This is um basically Cremo Vintage Suede, but just a little bit more leathery a little bit more intense a little bit more latafa okay okay so just that i just wanted to add that one in but the one i want to do is the velvet oud my man yeah okay oh Oh, my god look at that bottle first of all mark thanks to you this is something that got me like is that uh what is that latafa yeah Yeah. that that should be should be on there that should be on yeah yeah you're spelling it wrong Oh, Lev, 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 Lev. Oh, <laughs> oh <was> dear. <laughs> All right. There we Tell go. Tell us there more about how it smells. It's good, dude. It <laughs> smells you, more, right it smells similar, look, like leather number one. It smells similar to Tom Ford's testing leather, but like with oud and all the top. 4.40. That's a good spin. Oh, it's so good, dude. And that's so the you got to it. Oh, oud, incense, citrus, uh, uh, amber, I don't know where my Latafa cheat sheet is, but. 
to me it's it's got this like dry sharpness it's like it's so good i don't drink wine anymore but you know like when you would get like a really dry wine yeah like, yeah and you're just like eh. yeah you know but, i like a lot but it 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 deepens out it fills out so well like back into that that it, ombre leather vibe that yep. It has that that sweet raspberry kind of thing, the harshness of Tuscan leather, but it has the little the Latafa touch with the oud, man. Like it's like the oud's buried in there, but it's nice because you can tell it's different, and it smells like a Middle Eastern take on it. Right. Nina actually liked it when I got it; she sprayed it on herself. Yeah, nice. some of these shows, some of these like uni, this is unisex, especially yeah, but is. especially this, but this one though, the amber and leather, the more this this one, she was like used to like straight up leather, so some of them are a little bit too, you know, hard. right? And it's it's maybe more just linear, you know. Yeah, maybe but the velvet you want. Oud. the velvet oud is not really linear. No, it's nice. Look at all that. this this musky. Oud. Well, there's a oh, lot in there. I mean, it has some character. It's I mean, good, dude. Citrus, amber, musk, and then you go down with the incense. It's good. Food, and then it's, it, I don't feel like it's the longest lasting, but it's still really good. Okay. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'm it's fantastic. No, yeah, it's, velvet it's is like it. two hours, but honestly, because you can it's smell like this so many times, just, you know, it's a great like intermission. It really is. I know. I love it. And the bottle's really good looking. I, I wish yeah. I had a bigger, bigger one, but for now. Nice. You know, I think uh, having amber and leather and velvet it would be, uh, redundant though Jakar, i knew it i was thinking of i was thinking of doing yeah. one of these yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's it low does. it's low on the totem pole but no this just, is definitely this is definitely it, a leather fragrance yeah it does have some leather in there if that's such a good one dude there you there go. go boom losing your hat there there it is i know my bad <laughs> yeah, knock my hat off <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, a, that's this good. is a good one, dude. This the wormwood's good. fantastic. Ah, this smells good. Yeah, so it you does got, smell good. Yeah, that's you got like, the wormwood coriander. This, you definitely have that that feel, that coriander, like that that spiciness to it a little bit. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. get that mm -hmm. the rosemary I pick up, clary sage. Yeah, uh, so very this clearly is, that. Yeah, this is suede as opposed to leather, but it, I think it kind of serves that same purpose as sure, far as like sure. rounding it out a little bit and, and kind of giving it like a little smoothness to it. Um, yeah. But this is good. I mean, people complained about the the, the longevity on this one, but you know, nah. I don't know. I think it smells it great, works man. For me. And I know it you like it. Me. I know you put it then in your bottle, but Hell I think yeah. this is definitely one. Um, definitely you know, to, to bring up the people to check out. Yeah, yeah. You got it the yes. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it Cartier, smells, the Yeah, it smells similar to the original too, especially on the opening. It does. It, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely cool. like it's definitely like here's the show, guys. We're yeah. like throwing you back to the OG for the opening. But mm -hmm. hang sure. around for a little bit because we got something else in store, you know. Yeah. Well, and then that wormwood, like, that wormwood in the top too gives it like a little different feel with that boozy. Yeah. There. It's not. It's yeah. a nice absinthe. It's good. It really is. Mm -hmm. That's a really good. And I know a lot of people liked it. Yeah. A lot of there people are, didn't expect it. There are a ton of fragrances that have this kind of formula that that you're showing here too. I think and this is a new modern take, but we could literally exactly. Do an episode yeah. just on fragrances like this we Absolutely. should yeah that's next but, idea modern yeah. classics i mean that's that was kind saying. of my idea with the yadagon was like something like this like you could see the yadagon really having a leather no i'm surprised it doesn't but mm -hmm. and like I, I agree with this one too is an old school vibe yeah contemporary you know definitely has that you know I, it's not gonna smell like an old, old man like your grandpa back in the but it does have that that yeah. classic you know men's cologne vibe to it so very yeah. easy to wear right? yeah i think it's nice it. man it might be a little warm to pull this out now but yeah but it was yeah. it works it's good yeah all right so mr mark what we got argue mark the funky bunch mm -hmm. <laughs> what was i gonna do so this one's pretty along the lines of what <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. was doing i was gonna do this uh rare carbon oh nice uh, okay. all right all right for F sure F i mean nine. um this one, that one is does, interesting because if you look at the profile thing. of it next to um got rose like the velvet dude it's it has leather as a top it's, note. it's and and that's I think that's 
that's the fallacy a little bit is like yeah. it's it's that high pitched violet that rose the violet leaf you know that's coming together to form that leather that you think is yes. there yes and this one has that like really like amped up ozonic quality like of it's almost like electric you know um mm -hmm. so there are differences between all these um ombre leather clones i mean it very much still smells like ombre leather but yeah and this has some of the notes like the velvet oud that you brought up too it has the agar it wood. does but but i'm noticing too with a lot of these like leathery type fragrances you see a lot of the similar notes like you see the violet you see the spice Nutmeg is cinnamon, also, yeah you know you see the woods like so these are kind of things that all kind yeah. of seem like ferrari they blend well with like the no ferrari i don't really yeah. get ferrari. cinnamon a lot Ferrari. <laughs> you know, I but the nutmeg get also. In this one, though. The and nutmeg's like a spicy sweet. It, it definitely blends. Yeah, nutmeg's with a little bit sweet. But see, nutmeg too, like in cooking, a lot of times what you do is like when you say like you make like a cream sauce, you add a little bit of nutmeg. And what that does is kind of gives it like this hint of like, you know, just roundness. Yeah. Um, it does know, something to it. Kind of, yeah. you know, maybe a little bit sweet. Like it just adds a little something to the, you know, to it you know the, which i could see how that i could see how that kind of does it and like you know like a perfume it probably has that same kind of effect you know yeah that nice. makes sense you Yo. see it like that yeah Rare what say about this one, Rare Carbon. anybody say anything He's... good about it better than ombre leather Ooh, oh! that's, a, that's a strong that's a strong statement that's there, a man. big words those are big words man these, uh, these i wouldn't say it was sweeter some people are saying it's sweeter i don't know Love it. Smells like Tuscan. Uh, La Yukawam, I heard, is another good one that's in that ballpark of that. Yeah, Byredo Black Saffron, too, is another one that people say. And it's like, like it. that's the other thing that you think it's, about. I mean, I think Byredo, I think that stuff is expensive. Like, sure is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather yeah, pay like $20, $25 for another try at Ombre Leather than like, you know, whatever, $100. No, that, that, absolutely. Whatever. Absolutely. Let me see. I got, I got this one. And there's really no need to get the Tom Fords anymore. I mean, unless you're a purist. Yeah. So I got this one here. So this one, people hate okay. it. Okay. But I did like this one. And it does have. Okay. I don't remember Interesting. that one. So I think this is one of those ones that came the out Maninka. in 2020. Has that manuka that, fruit, but this is that, three wait, notes. Let's look at that score for a second here. Uh, let's three, three, take eight. It back to <laughs> three, three, eight. I told you they, they they hated on it, but I this is one of the ones where I will say I go against the people. I like this one. I I actually remember you uh, talking about this one. I have still. I'm sure I still have the decant, and I've smelled it many times after you told me that you were you like this one and i agree with you i think it's okay i think yeah. it's, it's a very sweet like yeah is it terrible if it's an amazing a, it's not amazing but it's, does it, but it's it smells good yeah oh uh, see and you get that suede a lot but it's like do you do is it like as bad as people were ragging on it nah here's a bottle right here Let yeah. me see that there you go nice that you bring up the suede because that yeah that's, and this yeah. is because i have this, a suede one too i want to bring up so they say this, yeah, I don't think I've tried this one. This. No, that's a Zara right there, the second one. Uh the sky, the night sky, the mm -hmm. Zara, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but people <laughs> say the hate this gets is unwarranted. Thank you. There you go. You know, <laughs> is it is it is it a, a, an incredible, amazing change the world scent? No. But you know, the with the fruit, the the the, the it says it has ginger, so it's a that's little what that dude said. Nothing ground breaking, but very yeah. pleasant. But it's nice. I mean, and, and I don't think it has the greatest longevity, but this is a nice warm weather scent too. You could wear this. You could probably pull this off now when it's hot out because mm -hmm. it's not very heavy. And in the heat, you know, this will this will project a little bit. Um, but it's clean. It's fresh with the ginger. It got a little fruit in it, and I'm sure there's other stuff that's not listed in here. You know, this is around the time where they started doing those three no breakdowns and tell you, okay, mm -hmm. it's only the 
three things when you're like, come on, I know you added some other stuff to you it. You got some other things. Like I could see this having like a little bit of wood of some kind, like a sandalwood or something like that. Yeah. Um, to kind of give it some some body in the base a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think this is a nice one. And I, it's funny because when we talked about leather, I was like, you know what? I think I want to mention this one because I knew it does it does have that sway note that's pretty prominent. Like you pick it up, mm -hmm. and it, and you know it smells good. So that that's yeah. that's my pick. I think if this is one, if you haven't tried it, you know, I I mean, look, the, this line is known for like really popular fracom ones, like the the absolute and the mm -hmm. the, the private accord, private accord, and the new one, the lepar fumps, and this one always kind of gets pushed to the back. But I think this one is worth smelling, man. For Was sure. Was there pure accord flankers? I mean, because I know like there are private accord um, flankers. Um, right? yeah, no, I don't think so. I know. I mean, I know they did one for women. Um, there's a pure core for for the ladies. Um, I never smelt it. Um, but this one when it came out, I actually was excited for it, and I liked it. I mean, like I said, it got the hate that it got, but to me, is is one. I'm you know what? I might wear that tomorrow just cause. Nice. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. I want to find core. it now because I want to. I I remember going back to it and being like. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. Like, it's yeah. actually unique, I would say. Yeah. I would say so, too, because you don't see a lot of frags that have that, you know, ginger fruit. Right. You know, no. it's in that. Yeah. It's in that and it, and it kind of reminds me of the line, that, that maninka fruit, it ties mm -hmm. in the whole line. And this, I think this does it well. And, and I kind of could see, it doesn't say it smells like the ombre leathers and all that, but I could see how that 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 fragrance might have inspired them to do something like this because of the mm -hmm. way the fruit goes with the leather, and yep. it's you know what I mean. It kind of has that vibe to it. It is obviously not the quality of say a Tom Ford or maybe even of the Latafas and stuff because that stuff is really good quality. But mm -hmm. yeah, no, this is this is a solid one. So it's, it's a good, nice, interesting, interesting one to bring up. It's interesting you mention that because mine is going to be White Suede by Tom Ford. There you oh, go. the exact go. opposite of Ombre Leather. Now, it's so like, what is how do it's, we distinguish it's between must, a white versus okay? It's it's like a pure, it's like but one of those kind of like pure, like really clean, like almost baby powdery, but re, it's really, really clean, really smooth suede. See the suede and musk. Oh, tea fragrance. Okay, nice. Suede so and musk is really, you know, saffron. it smells so clean and mm. beautiful. It was raining out there. Yeah, over here too. The um, suede is, you know, like, it, so this is like the opposite of like, you know, the heavy ombre leather, like manly. Right. Like, this is like hers for her. Mm -hmm. That I like want to try because I've been looking pure, for a clean. Oh, this that. unisex or for what? Oh, this is for. I women. say this. Okay. This leans way feminine. Yeah, this way is like really, really pure musky, but not like okay. perfumey musk. You know, not like that. Mm -hmm. Like just mm -hmm. clean. It smells like pure innocence, but the sweet. But look, you got the aloe olibanum. You got mm -hmm. um, you got the, the tea. You can tell oh, it's powdery. It's super powdery, but just. I don't know. There's something about this. It, 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 it type, you know, with the suede, it, it is a type of leather, and this is just like the opposite of what you would think of with leather. Like this is something okay. I think you should seek out and try. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Yeah, it's absolutely. it's. What was I wouldn't wear it myself. Four twenty one. It's nice. Yeah. Let's see what it smells like. I've heard. I feel. Uh, I've heard people talk about Tra it. Chaturel mm -hmm. Noah. What's uh, that? Uh, beaver smells yeah, like what beaver. The hell is that? <laughs> It's a zoologist. <laughs> Smells like beaver. The one next to it's a Gucci. Uh, Jared missed that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's all Chanel. To be serious. It's just it's like that. Chanel. If, you, if you're aware of like if you're aware of what a musk. Oh, it says it like this, musk therapy. Musk therapy. It's just it's really. It's just really soothing, calming. Oh, smells more. like the boss. Oh, oh, for her. Oh, a uh, it all those. comes yeah. in full circle. It do midnight it do. in Paris. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. not. But right. you know, I mean, it's just it's very. Is this it, for women? This you could wear in the in the heat. You know. Yeah. It's not like a. It's not a winter. It's not winter. It's not like. It's What's just this one. Ombre rose original. I don't know who the hell knows. with a baby powder smell. My first reference for fragrances is anything creamy, also a creamy scent. God damn, it smells amazing. Like a it does. Okay. It does smell amazing. I, I, I nice. look at it and I'm just like, I kind of have no idea. I have it's, no it's idea. Just, I'll have to smell smells, it myself. Yeah. 
So this is your girl's fragrance? Yeah, this is definitely her. Okay. I bought it for okay. her. It's definitely yeah. nice. What a good boyfriend you are. That's oh, good. I am, dude. You yeah. keep her kitted out and uh, keep her smelling good. Leather for sure. <laughs> See, well, I, I have one more. I, I guess I'll bring up my um. Huh? I don't even like it that much. <laughs> she doesn't she like, even like it that much. Oh, oh no, she didn't like it. It looks like it might be a tough thing. one. Whack. Yeah, it, it it's different. I like it. Nice. It's cool. That one cool. looks great. It's this. Oh, yeah, this is the this one you was talking about. This is what I wore today. Coming in. Oh, okay. This is what I put on today. Yeah. And a Malik musky leather. Ooh, I like that. Saffron leather. Saffron. Yeah. I would like to try this. Bergamot. I think I sent it to you. Did you? I might have. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. You did. I just, I I have a thousand. Bergamot, pepper, you. saffron I'm gonna leather. I'm going to have to give this one a shot. Woody notes, must see the amber. This, those are all notes I like, so I gotta give this a shot. Smells that. like the yeah, it does smell like Don't this one, which I have else. this one too. Is I, that adventure? I might have sent you that one too. The first one's yeah. in the top, Libre de Aron. I've smelled adventure by David. Huh? Wang for right. men. Everything uh, smells like your wine. Adam's secret. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Adam's Adam Adam secret. secret is. He can keep it, keep it to himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. guy Adam. Yeah, no, but this, like I said, definitely uh, <laughs> good beginners for, for leather. leather. I don't know about the bur- juiciest bergamot, but it does. It's a little bit soapy. Yeah, I definitely get that. Um, I'm about to give that it's one. It's nice and aromatic. Uh, it's light. It's definitely light. It's not a heavy scent at all. Um, probably smells like it won't. It won't last too too long. But yeah, it's good, man. This is a nice one. Yeah, good be- beginner leather. Not the ombre leather kind, but yeah, it's definitely in that you know smoother, easier to easier to wear, pull off. Probably could even they say it's like Ferrari leather essence, which I didn't even know they had one. There is a leather one, but I think that's like one of the harder ones to find. The oud one too, and the oud one. Yeah, those are two that are tough to come across. And it's not worth it really to get a Ferrari for that, you know. Nah, nah. For if it goes up in price because you can't find right, it, right? So, no. Um, the underrated house too, man. I mean, I think they make for some sure. nice stuff. Um, I think stuff all the ones that I've tried from them, you know, for the price point are are really yeah. solid. So, twenty five bucks for your hundred ml. Yeah, yeah, thirty bucks, forty. You know, that's that's solid. So, I'm a um, sucker for leather. I'll buy anything with leather. For in sure. It. Uh, you got another one, Mark? Or are you good? Sure. How many more are we doing? Uh, I, that was my last one, but you, I have you one guys more. got one. You guys could each bring on. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mark, and then yeah. Jared. All right. I'm trying to do. All right. Yeah. So I was going to bring on this one. I don't think it's on Fragranica. Yes, well, tell yeah. us about it. Is that Wood Intense? Oh, it's Udain. Udain. Sorry, I didn't have the cab on it there. Udain. That's no. Alpha. If you go to, go perf- back to perf- thing, yeah. If you can go to Parfumo, but. Yeah, I can do that. Let's see. Let's try this. Let's just show this screen again so people can see see the font, see how he's doing. Okay. I don't know. This one just reminds me of a very like soft, smooth leather, more like a suede scent. I think that's kind of the what I what I'm seeking out. Um uh, what's the name of that one? Udain. O U D A I N. Yeah. There it is. There you go. Henry Jacques, that's that's the most expensive show. Oh, this has got good ratings. The scent is smoky, woody projection and longevity are above average, and it is still available for purchase. But but no listed notes anywhere. Yeah, no notes. They do a breakdown here: smoky, spicy, oriental, leathery. Leathery. Yeah, a lot of these. Sometimes they describe the scent as just like oriental is like a note, and it's just mm-hmm. like what uh, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah, that's such a wide but, variety of scents. Yeah, this mm-hmm. one it's kind of uh so I would say like one of the types of leathers that I really like are the ones that kind of blend well with like a medicinally like oody type Ooh, vibe. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what I like mm-hmm. the So this one's definitely in that category in terms of that medicinally oud and then it's That's got this cool almost bottle. like camphor mm-hmm. like note to it to, for me like mm. oh. um that kind of has like a minty or menthol like background so it's kind of like two really weird 
vibes like being crashed up against one another and i find myself like wavering a lot on it but i've worn it a lot and it i don't know it's a calming relaxing scent nice. reviews like a heavy i've seen scent? people say what's that is it it's like heavy, heavy. Yeah. yeah you could say it's like maybe almost a little bit syrupy kind of okay so but nice. um yeah, I, I like it. It's a fun one. And it, it was kind of, it represented a type of leather that I didn't have in my collection yet. So there you go. Sweet. There you go. I'm looking for. One of the ones you sent too that I liked was, um, what was that one that was supposed to be like an Irish leather clone? Oh, I, I like that oh. one too. The, yeah. Anna the Abadaya. Yeah, that's a good one Anna, to bring up too. Anna Abadaya, yeah, yeah. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, I brought too. that one up. Yeah, I, I think I sent you guys the Udane too. Yep, um, yeah, I oh, gotta try that again. I think yeah, I have this that one. one. Real green juniper leather. That's a good like, one. I like that one a lot. That, mm-hmm. I feel like green leather vibes are like classic and almost it's like, like fifteen bucks on Jomo Shop. I'm about to, there you uh, go. Yeah, it's look. But you see, gotta this how you put the, the people on, on baby. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is how you put the people on. You know, you fifteen bucks. I'm about to get one myself. Yeah, that's a great man. price. I really I mean, like that one. And I you know, tried it first. That's that's the great thing about these Latafas is that yeah, they might be cloning uh, you know, high end fragrances, but they clone them in a way that they're high end also. Like yeah, they don't smell right. like cheap knockoffs. They smell no. great. Right. They, they smell do. like good stuff, man. And so, I think a lot of people too, when you the first time you smell something that there aren't any notes for, there aren't any description for, it's you don't even really like smell it because you don't have any like handles to hold on to as you're yeah, like you don't have no point of reference. Nah. So you gotta like when you get a bottle like that and you're like, I can't smell anything, and you're like, Oh, it has weak performance or it's not performing. What you gotta do is you gotta smell it again. And yeah. then you gotta smell it again. And then you mm. gotta smell it again. And by the time you smell it the fourth or fifth time, you'll say, Oh yeah, now I start to recognize what is in the smell. Yeah, I pick up X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah. So that's that sense. that's what you got to do. They're not underperforming. Like these things are beasts most of the time. Nah. And maybe you... and they're quality oils too. Like you yeah. can smell they use pretty decent stuff in there. Yeah. What so. about you, Jared? You got one more? There we Jared go. Intense leather. The, the there vintage we go. 15 ml chef gear. Dude, there this we stuff go. Is, this it's... stuff is fantastic, bro. The notes uh, are wild on it too. First thing, leather. Sweet leather, iris, floral, yeah. like sweet. Yeah, there's powdery. a lot of this. Here. Is not 2021. Yeah, this is so not your regular leather fragrance. Look at those notes: mandarin, orange, yeah. fruity, oh, red apple. Just, yeah, here go the things just though. Clary sage, fruit, the iris, floral, um, the musk. It's a it's a floral leather with citrus and sweetness. What does it say? Oh, uh, leather, earthy, citrus, fruity, uh-huh. animalic iris. The earthy is definitely earthy, but sweet. Powdery it's cons- and white. It's, it's just, so good. It's considered just a leather fragrance. That's what it's so written good. as here. Um, it's yeah, so it's, it, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely um not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Not everybody's gonna like this. These two, these right. two are the They're newest ones. To, yeah, this just came them. out, and this one, this one sounded good too. They're tough to find though, but they sound. This one's good. really good. This is not smelling over in leather. It, smell like that, it, it smells like no, Trey so Nui to me. I don't. I don't find this smelling like I this like either. This. No, it does not smell no. like any of these things. At it all. smells like Trey Nui. Smell Trey Nui. I guarantee you. I yeah. think I have a DJ like that. that from it. You, you it's, have it's, that one. So I have oh, Trey Nui. Yeah. This has yeah, iris in it, so you're going to see. Uh, I might have a little bit in my bottle just yet. Uh, purple label, Ralph Lauren. Mm. I never smelled that. This Club is just yeah. Yeah. Urban it's, it's man. They're all over the place. It's yeah. really unique. I it mean, is unique. The color for a, for a leather. I, I've heard people blue. say Gucci too. They get that kind of vibe from it, like that yeah, mellow. I can see black. that. I can see that. Um, but let's see. It's just it's it's nah, it's, mate. It's nice. I don't know about this one. Get out of here. It is here. the spices yeah. are added to Davido cool water. This is out. Of Mark, you said this too. Like, smells you like said gasoline you got a cool and water insulin? vibe from this. Very Look much, at the first one. Much. Gasoline. gasoline and I didn't know insulin had a smell, but okay. Me neither. Yeah, come on. I like this. Uh, a lot of people. Like I, said, I trust her opinion. <laughs> like smells I said, heavily, I'm not for song, uh, Semi-sweet, fruity, uh, great signature scent. 
Uh, the opening think, is a little yeah, bit weird. I agree with this. It does not smell anything like ombre leather by Tom Ford. It definitely not does not. Close. Just because it has leather does not mean that it smells like right. this is something way it's different. Unique. It is light. It's a little bit fresh, but the dry down, like in this, you yes. definitely get a, a you definitely get a strong the dry leather down. Where it's at. The dry the down. The weird. opening is all over the place, but yeah. once it settles on your skin. And that yeah. leather comes out, and you and some of that powderiness sticks around from like the iris and stuff like that. It's nice. Yep, it's this nice. Is, this is one. It's and this is a. I don't know if you do these anymore, do you? I do fifteen, but I don't have those bottles. But I, I do have yeah, fifteen is, mls. This is this yeah, is. I have yeah. like six of these. I'm yeah, so, like, I was like, he's not gonna have them for a while. So I yeah, I mean, I, I, I so I found some better priced ones, but maybe I'll go back to those. Those are like almost two dollars each. Wow. Yeah. But uh yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. I saw somebody say lipsticky iris. I don't agree with that. It's, it's not Powdery. lipsticky. I don't get oregano. I don't know where this guy oh, smells oregano. Did see it's all over the place. He's oregano. Very no, different. Doesn't smell like oregano. When you see something like this, you gotta wonder like the, the this fragrance is doing something to people's minds. It's messing with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like because everyone's smelling something different. It's like, how is that possible? But this was in know. the Macy's box. That's the kind the of beacon that makes me want to go back and be yeah, like, see. okay, let me do that one again. This guy says it smells like Gucci Port. I could agree with that. Leather. I could I agree with that. Throwing a little bit of Givenchy ED and then you know like, Yeah, yeah, you definitely get that vibe from it. That's so interesting. The Iris. You're gonna have to go back. <laughs> Iris, Iris. That's how you say it in Spanish. Iris. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If a woman's name is Iris, you call her Iris. What a good list of fragrances! I, I'm not because I always try and write the list. Yeah. This is a fantastic. I, I, list. I thought there was there's some good ones in there. And you got a variety. You got yeah. stuff Expensive that's on the Udi side. To everything. Yeah, bunch you of got, the Tafa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a well, no, and then you brought up the you know we got the Ferragamo, the Barbados, Tom Ford, um, interesting. The Rudy, Benz. yeah, the Tom Ford White Suede was a nice pick too. Yeah, I definitely. say. I, I still really think like it, but. <laughs> I still think everybody should. Uh, no, she does not. Yeah, I'm, I, really? I didn't know that until like right now. But this one, I think, is where people should start. That's yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you brought up that one too because I. Uh, it sounds great, and it's. I, I brought just, up it's that not, it's not heavy. and I was like, "Oh, there's no leather in it. Damn." It's got that nutmeg smell to it. It's nice. Nice. Yeah, that Hugo Boss too, man. I think I'm gonna wear that tomorrow. I. Uh, mm -hmm. I inspired myself with that one, so I'll definitely want to check that one out tomorrow. I got but my, yeah, my definitely whole collection here. I'm gonna go through and try and find that one now. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some, Jared. I don't know if I sent you that one. I don't think I've I don't ever know. Sent you yeah, that one. what I'll, yeah, I yeah. I have for to sure. send you that one. I think I might, yeah. I might have to get that on a day. Well, it's fucking fifteen dollars. Fifteen it's bucks, insane. yeah. Yeah, yo, Joma shop, man. They got some good prices on stuff. Yeah, I bought like a few bottles from them. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I, I ordered some. Yeah, I mean, like, what they'll do is they'll ship you, you'll order two bottles, they'll ship you one in two days, they'll ship you the other one 14 days later, you know. Well, so like, what you what have to do, what you on. have to do is, like, be mindful when you're shopping on there. It, there's a there's a little uh, notification that'll say available to ship now, uh, or right. it'll or tell in you weeks. in two weeks or in 14 days, whatever, you got to look. But you know, if it's if it's there, if they have it, you'll get it like in a few days. Yeah, I've and seen a lot of people getting for car and everything recently. Yeah, so I, think I got for car from there. From there. And yeah, I, got, um, cool. I got it's a Jazzy. I got a Jazzy from there. Yeah, the Office from Adam one. I got they had, can of that. They had the Swiss Arabian Casablanca for like twenty five bucks, and that one is like a dead face dupe for um, Mercedes Benz Club Black. And I almost bit, and then I went and like the next day, and it was out. Yeah, they still have like that's... new bottles for 35 so i mean a little bit above mark's price <laughs> yeah that 35 uh, boy. i don't really Ooh. like i'm not oh, really that big a fan of mercedes-benz <laughs> club black i got 10 mils of that and it'll last it's good it's not bad that's yeah. good i like that I asked for yeah it. Good. yeah i think that's a good layering scent too mm -hmm. like yeah. spraying stuff over it you know yeah mm -hmm. But yeah, man, that's that's leather, you know, for the people there out there. That's great, yeah. You know, watching, you know, the, you, you're not sure about leather. You don't know kind of what these. direction to go in. You know, these are, I think these are good ones to kind of get, get your toe wet. And some of them, I mean, you know, will get you right into the to the deep end, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Um, 
For sure. So it's a, like you know, you, you just uh, test them out. See, you know, Jared said he'll list them over there. Yeah, in the, and also the little comment box thing. You know, and Drop if box. you're watching it now, still because nobody did it last time. So oh no one did it. Saying, still. Okay. Uh, come uh, on, yeah. guys. We'll Type Latifah nice. Type Latifah yeah. in the bottom. Uh, Jared will send Something you his nice. girlfriend's bottle of white suede that she don't want. He'll send it to you. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you can name. <laughs> you can name. You can name Jared's son when he's born. You can you, you <laughs> <pick> the name. <laughs> That's the way. Eight months. Eight months, eight months on the he's way, baby. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet. He doesn't know. Ooh. Surprise. <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, but yeah, put the top from the bottom, and and we'll send you something because uh, like he's he's right. Nobody, no one, not one did. person like, top of anything. It's gotta yeah, be yeah. before we put out the next episode. Yeah, you can't, do okay. this, you can't like, just come back in like eight six months, months from now and yeah. be like, well, I when I'm famous. Watched. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so what's so? Hold on, what's the date? Today is the twenty second. Five Memorial uh, Day. So the twenty ninth. So the twenty ninth will be the next Memorial episode. Memorial. Yeah. By Monday right. the thirtieth, okay. And Monday the thirtieth, have that can, day. Yeah. Ah, right, yeah. I work on this tonight, and uh, yeah, we'll get it together. Nice, quick, easy one. Sweet. All right, fellas. All right. Let me, let me put uh, let me stop her here. Hold